Hey, Slippy. It's dangerous when Lippy gets in a vehicle going down the freeway. But I tell you what, if I ever had a burnt butt, I got a burnt butt. Yeah, I learned that saying last year. At the time, it didn't tickle my fancy. But I'm going to use it now. All right, I went in a couple of weeks ago to get my permit for my sugar shack. And they tell me we are short staffed. It could be two to three weeks. We'll email you. You can download it and pay for it there. Okay, well, well what if the building gets there? Well, that's fine. Okay, I get an email. There's my permit. Go all the way through. Website down. Y'all have been doing this since yesterday. I had to get in my car. Now, mind you, I could print it, but it didn't mean a hill of beans unless it had to stamp. But I said, I ain't wasting my ink. I ain't wasting my paper since I got to waste my gas to drive downtown, put four quarters in the meter so I don't get no parking ticket. To go up in there, I had her print it. Y'all, I had to pay $95 for a permit. A year ago would have cost 50. And I said, your website's down. Oh, it is? Well, why the hell you offer this when you can't fix your website? Makes no damn sense. So then they got me upset and then I got to thinking and when I get to thinking I tell you them damn rats in this head they get to rolling just rolling and the first person that come to my mind was Joe Manchin I tell you what if I could get my hands on that man I feel sorry for y'all that live in the state that Joe Manchin's in because y'all know he was the one that flipped the switch that made this inflation get signed. There ain't a damn thing about cutting inflation for us. It's called increasing inflation for us. Then I got to thinking some more. He was interviewed the other day and they asked him, well, is this gonna immediately help the people with the cost of food and utilities, uh, housing, fuel. Do you know what that Cracker Jack said? Well, uh, 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 no. The reporter asked again, he says, and? Hey, Manchin, and? Why you sitting there eating your steak dinner? You ain't worried about it. You probably got a damn gas card from our tax money. You're probably writing off your lunches with our tax money. See, it's a dangerous situation getting Lippy in a, in a car. Because it just pisses me off. And then, y'all want to know what else is in there? Y'all probably know. I hope you do. I done read that thing. Now, there's words in there I had to, to Google to figure it out. But that's all right. I got it. I understand it. I'm not illiterate. But there was one part in there. They gonna replace all the postal carriers with electric vehicles. That's going to help with the fuel. What, the fuel costs for who? For the government. Our taxes is going to go up to pay for that. So we're going to pay more taxes for these people to run around in electric vehicles. I'm waiting for them to put one of them down butt plug things in my damn corner of my yard for them to stop and juice up or whatever it is just to bring me my light bill in the mail that's done tripled in amount I don't know who in the hell elected these no-yos in office but y'all need to check yourself this ain't about what side of the aisle you're on ain't got a damn thing to do with the party they dirty on both sides down the middle the one that's vacuuming the carpet i don't know they all cracker jacks at our expense 
Y'all, if we don't get them out and put some rational people in, blue, red, white, yellow, purple, I don't give a damn. We going to hell in a handbasket. So please, please do yourself a favor. Oh, I like what he has to say. I like what she has to say. Look at what they've done. Everybody leaves a damn paper trail. Look at the paper trail. If you like what you see, flip that switch. I don't think you're going to like what you see. I don't even like what I'm seeing. Sorry, I got to turn my eyes. I got to, I'm driving, remember? Did I pass my damn it? No, I got, <laughs> I get so carried away. But no, seriously, this is the most ridiculous thing that they're trying to sell people. Y'all, we're floating in the Dead Sea. We done damn near capsized in the sandbar. What else is it going to take for us to pull our heads out of that sand and say, you know what? Y'all work for us. We pay you not to enlist 82 more thousand people IRS people to come after middle America because that's what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, it's on every damn application. If you work for the federal government, you got to be prepared to, you know, to carry. I get that. But y'all, they're trying to get all the money that's been printed in the basement at midnight eating donuts. They're trying to get the money back. It's all in this inflation bill. That's all they're trying to do. He, Joe, trying to get their money back that they printed. We got to stop voting for these people. Come this November, we gonna sink or swim. I want to swim. I don't want to sink. But if it goes down, we all go down. Stop being a damn follower and just start looking at it as a whole, both sides. And if you're happy casting that vote, peace be with you. But remember thy neighbor. That neighbor may be the one that's going to feed you when you can't afford to feed yourself. We are a whole. They're wanting to divide us. And guess what? They're winning. Because we, the people, is allowing it. Shut it down. Shut the shit down right now. Because we cannot continuously divide ourselves. We got to stand together. Get back to what it was. There's more hatred today with the people in office than previous. Y'all, they just stirring that pot, stirring that pot. And, and people are falling for it. I don't understand it. Change what you're drinking in the morning. Do something. If you can't think straight, I don't know, get some herbs. Do something. Get your, get your mind right. When you get this right, your pocketbook might get better too. Because you're going to think before you flip that switch or hit that button or pull that lever or whatever the hell is in those boxes. Y'all, I'm sorry. Lippy don't like to, to, to do these rants. But by jingos, I see everybody else saying things, and I'm like, you know, I got an opinion. Well, it's just my damn opinion. It don't really mean in the bigger picture a Cracker Jack, okay? 
I'm one Cracker Jack in the box. But my Cracker Jack opinion is about the people. We, the people, not segregation. I mean, y'all keep listening to these no-yo journalists, and the next thing you know, we going back to, to damn what it used to be. I'm going to leave that word out. Because that's what I feel, and it ain't real. Walk out in the streets. Well, I don't know what streets you live in. If you live in the bad streets, get your ass out. My streets, I don't see it. I don't feel it. It ain't around me. And no, I don't have blinkers like a racehorse on. I've got a swivel head. My head's steadily turning. You know why? Because I'm always watching. I'm paying attention. Because goofballs that's out there. Put your head on a swivel. It ain't as ugly as they make it out to be. But guess what? They have panicked people. It's like they programming people. And people are falling for it. Y'all know what's right. Joe Manchin, I wouldn't piss on you if you was on fire. I'm just saying. That was a pretty crappy answer. Well, oh well. You don't give a damn. A bunch of y'all don't get a damn. You get put in the seats it's like, ha ha, I got this now. They're the fools. Because you know why? Damn near every one of y'all get in there. You get leaked the right of information. You go and you invest. And you. next thing you know, you were worth, I don't know, half a million, a million dollars. You get in office. Two years later, you were six million, ten million. Ask Nancy. She's the queen of tripling her investments. Oh, but that's not a crime, is it? People, please. Ain't nothing but a damn running ass joke. Now, will I post this video? I don't know. I might, I might not. I probably will. Some of you may agree with me. Some of you may not. But that's the beauty of America, isn't it? Well, if you want that, you better change your thinking. I'm not saying, you know, we can't do better for our environment. But running down electric cars up and down the road and cutting coal out and natural gas, that's the stupidest ass thing I ever heard in my life. It makes no sense. It don't make no sense. Oh, but guess what? They gonna give you a $7,500 tax credit. But you gotta be first in line. You got to be below a certain income level. Well, I'm sorry. A family making forty to $70,000 probably can't hardly pay the damn mortgage if they have one after they pay the federal tax, the state tax, the FICA. You know what I'm saying? Insurance. And you Y'all can run out and buy you an electric car. Don't eat that damn cereal out that box and do it. That's all I can tell you because it's tainted. With more than just bullshit additives. Y'all, I'm just so mad right now. When, when I had to drive downtown... It just got my mind a rolling and a rolling. So I'm sorry. I feel better. So I probably won't put. Yeah, I'm going to post it. Yep, I, I'm going to post it. Because I, ho I hope Joe sees this. Which Joe am I talking about? Both. Well, I don't know. Sleepy Joe probably won't see it. He probably napping. Oh, but one of his goons will. Hmm. 
but that's all right. It's called freedom of speech. You go punch the wrong damn lever, you ain't going to get freedom of speech. They're already trying to shut that down. Y'all, I'm proud to live in this country as backwards as it gets, as crazy as it is, because there is more good here than anywhere else. So let's shine some good. Put a smile on somebody's face today. And smile when you walk in that little curtain come November. But know when you walk out that you can live with yourself. Or should I say it's a damn crapshoot? It's a damn crapshoot.